Good morning and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of morning prayer on Wednesday the 29th of June 2022. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our, our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole. In the calendar of the Church of England today, we are asked to remember Peter and Paul the Apostles. Peter has often been called the Prince of the Apostles because of the words of Jesus renaming him of, um, from Simon to Cephas. This was the Aramaic forms of the Greek word Peter, which means rock. Jesus said that on this rock he would build his church, but both Peter and Paul came to be seen as having different roles to play within the leadership of the church. Peter, in witnessing to the Lordship of Christ and Paul, in developing an understanding of its meaning for Christ's followers. Peter and Paul have been remembered jointly on this day since the very early days of the church, it being regarded as an anniversary of their martyrdom in Rome in about the year 64. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the works of your hand. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in those last days you have spoken to us. In your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your spirit ever renewing our lives, and your praises ever being on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 71, starting at the first word, the first verse, is, O God, be not far from me. O God, be not far from me. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which you, I may ever resort, send out to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence for even from my youth. Upon you have I leaned from my birth when you drew me from my mother's womb. My praise shall be always of you. O God, be not far from me. I shall become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all day long. Do not cast me away in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me, and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say God has forsaken him. Pursue him and take him, because there is none to deliver him. 
O God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. O God, be not far from me. But as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long, for I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, be not far from me. O God, you have taught me since I was young. To this day I tell of your wondrous works. Forsake me not, O God, when I am old and grey-headed, till I make known your deeds to the next generation in your power to all that has come to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens. In the great things you have done, who is like you, O God? What troubles and adversities you have shown me, and yet you will turn and refresh me and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour. Turn again and comfort me. O God, be not far from me. Therefore will I praise you upon the harp. For your faithfulness, O my God, I will sing to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all the day long, for they shall be shamed and disgraced who sought to do me evil. O God, be not far from me. Faithful Lord, living Saviour, in youth and old age, from the womb to the grave, may we know your protection and proclaim your great salvation to the glory of God the Father. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 113, starting at the first verse, is from the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. Alleluia, give praise, you servants of the Lord. O oh, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed is the name of the Lord from this time and forevermore. From the rising of its sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above all heavens. Let the name of the Lord be uh, from the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. Who is like the Lord our God, that has his throne so high, yet humbles himself to behold the things of heaven and earth? He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ashes to set them with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a place in the house and makes her a joyful mother of children. Alleluia. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O Lord. May your promise to raise the poor from the dust and turn the fortunes of the needy upside down be fulfilled in our time also, as it was in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our first scripture reading is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, starting at the first verse. Listen to me, O coastlands, pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born, while I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword in the shadow of his hands he hid me. He made me a polished arrow in his quiver he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I have said, I have laboured in vain. 
I have spent my strength for nothing of vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord and my reward with my God. Now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honoured in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, it is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Our Canticle. The Lord has anointed me and sent me to bring good news to the oppressed. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour, to comfort all who mourn, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. For as the earth puts forward her blossom, and as seeds in the garden spring up, so shall the Lord God make righteousness and praise blossom before all the nations. You shall be called priests of the Lord. They shall speak of you as ministers of our God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord has anointed me and sent me to bring good news to the oppressed. Our second reading this morning is from uh, the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, starting at the first verse. <coughs> now the apostles and believers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers could him saying, Why do you go to uncircumcised men and eat with them? Then Peter began to explain it to them step by step, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. There was something like a large sheet coming down from heaven, being lowered by its four corners, and it came close to me. And as I looked at it closely, I saw four-footed animals, beasts of prey, reptiles and birds of the air. I also heard a voice saying to me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But I replied, By no means, Lord, for nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time the voice answered from heaven, What God has made clean you must not call profane. This happened three times. Then everything was poured up again to heaven. At that very moment three men sent to me from Caesarea, arrived at the house where we were. The Spirit told me to go with them and not to make a distinction between them and us. These six brothers also accompanied me, and we entered the man's house. He told us how he had seen the angels standing in his house and saying, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will give you a message by which you and your entire household will be saved. And as I begin to, began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, just as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift that he gave us, when we believe the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could hinder God? When they heard this, they were silenced. And they praised God, saying, that God, Then God has given even to the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life. Our responsory. 
Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. For you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Our Gospel Canticle this morning is the Benedictus, a song of Zechariah. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appoint you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn on, from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appoint you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that shall last. Gracious God, we ask for your blessing on all our tasks these days that all we shall meet will bear the face of Jesus Christ and that we will do the right thing for each and every one of them through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray for this broken world, for its many needs, for the difficulties that all face, for the failure of the harvest, for the lack of grain because of war. And we pray for those areas troubled by violence and conflict. And we pray for the church and her life, that she shall be of positive impact around the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask the day to pray for the social services and all who work in the criminal justice system. We pray with equal fervour for the victims of crime and the per 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 perpetrators of crime. We pray that victims will get justice and the perpetrators will see the error of their ways. And we pray especially today for all of the aid agencies from whichever source they come who seek to improve circumstances of difficulty and help those who are sick or injured, hungry or lost. And finally, we pray today, Lord, for those who are both living in poverty and under oppression. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I'll call it for today. Almighty God, whose blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, glorified you in their death as in their life, grant that your church, inspired by their teaching and example, and made one by your Spirit, may ever stand firm upon the one foundation, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the glory, the power and the kingdom forever and ever. Amen. Let us, the Lord bless us and Preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us in this benefit for our morning prayer. We will be having a service of night prayer or compline at six o'clock this evening, should you be available to join us. Have a lovely day and um, at my colleagues, uh, we'll be with you at 10 o'clock, uh, at 9 o'clock, my apologies, uh, tomorrow uh, for further benefits, morning prayer. Bye for now.